up everybody this is Kevin again uh, just giving you guys a quick heads up for the iPhone 3GS uh, Apple iPhone 3GS 8 gigabyte uh, that's the one I just purchased here uh, got it for a pretty good deal so I wanted to check it out uh, had the iPhone 4 all set up and everything but people were having issues with the iPhone 3GS so I grabbed one so we can go ahead and get everybody squared away um, I've already unlocked it um, ttgwireless.com Submit your information uh, on the iPhone unlock service. Uh, costs twenty five dollars, but it's a factory unlock, so you can take your phone to any carrier. If you don't like Solave, okay, grab you an AT and T SIM card, throw it in there. You're back on AT and T. Grab a T Mobile SIM card, you're back on T Mobile. Uh, you're overseas, get you a little Vodafone, whatever. Uh, knock it out, have at it. Anyways, with a factory unlock, it's always there, so there's no uh, cracks, breaks, jailbreaks, weird software you need to download, anything like that. Submit your IMEI number to us, we get the code set up, get it released, and you're all set. Um, but once you're done with that, you reboot, restore, you, oh, uh, Solave is on. Um, the settings you need to go through are uh, a little different than what they show online. And so that's what the question was, so we're making a quick video. Settings. This is the setup you need to go through. Settings, and then you need to go to General. Okay, and on and on there it says go to Network. There's no network uh, setting on here, so you'll actually go to Cellular. Okay, press that there. And then turn off 3G. Data roaming can be on, and Cellular data is on. With cell with Cellular data on, scroll down, and here it is: Cellular Data Network. And then from there, APN should be Solave, MMS, APN should be Solave, MMSC should be, you know, HTTP, whatever it says online, correct. So that was the main thing is instead of going to network, you go to carrier, or cellular, excuse me, and then cellular data. Fill all that in, get all that set up. Uh, make sure that you really make sure all this is set up properly. Because uh, a lot of times it's user error. Uh, I've done it once before, <laughs> and so as anybody can do it, um, I've done this you know, several times now. And uh, you just want to make sure all this is set up properly. And then once it's done, hit the home button. Is what it says, home button. And then power it off, power it back on. So hold this down, power it off. Oops, it's failed. <laughs> so hold it down, to power off. You know, so I slide the power off, and you slide the power off, and you power it back on. And when it's done, you want to power it back on. But uh, while you're doing that, uh, after you power it off, you also want to make sure you go to activate dot okay. Because on here, you want to make sure you submit your membership number, or member ID, and your order ID, which is on your package here. So it's on your package there, <clears throat> and after you, and make sure you do that too. Uh, one customer who did not activate um, <clears throat> had issues, and I was like, "Well, activate," and it was all taken care of. So that was that. Real quick video to show you uh, how to get the iPhone 3GS set up versus the iPhone 4. Uh, so if you have any other questions or anything, feel free to hit me up.